But we did see Speaker Boehner and House Majority Leader Eric Cantor applauding a couple of times, so maybe there is some common ground. Come from Cantor, good morning to you. Good morning, Charlie. So, as you listen to the president talk about the military, and the military as the idea where there was cooperation and where there was a sense of mission and where people didn't care about the differences as much as they thought about common ground, did that resonate with you and does that call you to come to the table and provide some kind of agreement with the administration? Well, certainly support for our armed forces, our men and women in uniform, uh, is one thing we can all unite behind here in Washington. Uh, we've got challenges as far as how we're going to continue to support them, and that's one of the things that will be at issue this year. I think you'll see uh, many of us on the Republican side of the aisle insist uh, that now is not the time for us to reduce the spending uh, to support our men and women in uniform. Uh, but there's no doubt uh, that uh, there's a bot support uh, for our military. Uh, and, uh, you know, I think that the president's use of, of the military as the model uh, is certainly a valid one. Uh, but again, I think there are a lot of serious issues uh, that unfortunately um, the White House uh, and we see things very differently on, and that has a lot to do with the frustration out there across the country. Uh, but the vice president just made a very clear point that he thinks that tax reform and fairness is at the center of this campaign and that the Buffett rule in which anybody who makes more than a million dollars will pay 30 percent. Is that fairness or do you consider that class warfare? Well, you know, I, the president brought uh, Warren Buffett's secretary to <clears throat> the uh, State of the Union last night. And, um, you know, I care about Warren Buffett's secretary. I want her to do well. I want her to do better just as I think that everybody in this country uh, should have an opportunity uh, to achieve and pursue their dreams. But should she be and paying a higher percentage than the, Mr. Buffett should be paying? I, I don't think anyone wants to pay higher taxes. And I think the reality is the reason why Warren Buffett's secretary and so many millions of other Americans are frustrated is they see policies that have been promoted for the last three years by this White House that frankly don't work. And what do most people do when you reach a point and see that things aren't working? You try something new. And that's what we are here trying to advocate to say, look, we've got a very bold vision uh, for this country and how to focus on a growth-oriented, small business perspective. Let's get out of the mindset of saying that Washington's got to start this program and initiate some other new project. Uh, because that's not what America is built on. The backbone of America has to do uh, with the aspirational sense of small business in this country. That's where jobs come from. That's what people want to see. So hopefully we can come together on that simple notion that it is small business, the backbone of America, and we've got to provide the, the actual vision and the policies that can allow them to start up again and grow. Sir, one quick question for you about uh, the race for 2012. There's a new Quinnipiac poll out this morning of Republican voters in Florida, which essentially shows Newt Gingrich and Mitt Romney now tied in that state. You said over the weekend it behooves us all as a country to have sort of the choice laid out as early as possible. Does this concern you at all that there is not a clear choice right now for your party? Well, I think all of us want to go around, go and make sure we can coalesce around our nominee uh, because there is a very stark difference between um, the candidates on our side and the vision that they have to bring this country forward and that espoused by the president last night in the State of the Union address. Uh, but clearly, I think it's reflective, the uh, debate going on in our presidential primary process is reflected of a, a party with robust ideas uh, and bold visions for the future. That's what we're going to be about. We're going to be about a vision that is very much focused on the private sector. Uh, we okay. want to stop taking more money from the people who earn it. Let them keep Sir? it. Help, help Sir, those. We're going to have to continue. We're going to have to continue more of this as we continue the campaign because I have a feeling the satellite might cut you off. Appreciate your time as always. <laughs> Thank you, Congressman. Thank Ken. you.